Hey there, this is Zeth with Frozen. Today I'm showing you the CS Plus at IDS 2025. So this is our new chair side printer. It is a 7.1 inch 8K LCD, uh, 22 micron XY resolution, and a 385 nanometer light source. So a uh, different step versus our traditional 405 nanometer. Um, 385 has better depth curing penetration, um, and we have a lot of new features. So. To start off, uh, we have two vats and two build plates. As you can see here, we have the mini plate, and we also have a regular plate. So this is the larger, regular size plate for the CS Plus, and we also have the mini plate and the mini vat. These vats are heated, and they also have vat feet, so you can set this down on the countertop without, the, without it scratching the film. But going but back, the film, uh, the film is also interchangeable as well. yes, yes, interchangeable film, and it's NFEP, so PFA film from the out of the box, so easily interchangeable. Fifteen minutes, you got a new film for less than you know, very inexpensive. As a technician, one of my favorite things after using these printers for so long is this right here. No more thumb screws. You can just pop the vat in and out, and then lock it into place very easily. No more. Sh so is that quite tight? Yeah, it's pretty tight, and you can adjust it with these uh, flat heads here too, but oh, okay. not super tight, but it's tight enough to hold it in place and resist the printing process. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we also have some sensors beneath the LCD screen, so it has failure detection and also has uh, debris detection, so if it detects anything in the vat as it's coming down, it will bounce back up and let you know it has something in the vat. Uh, also has the camera and frozen go integration so you can uh, create time lapses or check on your prints from your mobile phone via frozen go we also have a air filtration unit with a carbon filter back here and then it has a uh, heating element so this is for the chamber so it will maintain the chamber and the the liquid in the vat at 30 c if enabled is that the highest uh, temperature as of right now yeah it's locked at 30 30 c so over here we have a ds slicer uh, we talked about this earlier so Really, really awesome, intuitive, easy to use software. I always explain this to the people as the software you don't have to really learn to use. Um, you can just load in your STL file, whether it's a surgical guide or a tray or a splint or whatever you need to print, load it in there. You don't even have to orient it or do much. Come over here to our support tool. And then from here, you pretty much just select what you want to print. So this is a surgical guide. We'll select surgical guide. Click on build support. It will automatically rotate it using a AI algorithm and support it for the best orientation and uh, chances of success here. So you can see that actually looks pretty good. I don't know, very low. Yeah, I don't know, I don't have a quantitative number, but pretty low, pretty low. But definitely much lower than- Much lower than consumer slicer software, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, exactly, exactly. And then over here we have the heat mix. This is a 360, uh, bottle roller and heater. So this is great for those high viscosity resins, uh, ceramic containing resins, surgical guide resins, splint resins, anything that's very, really thick. This will help lower the viscosity and prepare it for printing, especially in the cooler months. So this helps make things a little bit more fluid and helps them flow, which allows you to lift and retract a lot faster. So definitely reduces print times. We have this, uh, the LS Plus over here, so I forgot to mention this one will be coming out in about a month or so. And then the LS, the lab side printer, that one will be coming out uh, roughly like September, October is the current estimate. So this one, 8K, 7.1 inch LCD. LS is a 6K, 9.1 inch LCD. So um, larger panel for more models, more surgical guides, more, more volume. It will also include the regular plate. So You'll have a smaller plate as well, but there will be a larger plate. Yeah. Okay. Same kind of technology, same housing, um, different resolution though. So this one is 22 micron. That one will be, I think, 34 micron X Y. Yeah, of course, of course. Any anything sub 50 is great for dentistry, uh, but yeah, sub 35 is even better. Uh, are both of them the, the, the same? What, um, what are the main differences? Just the build size. Pretty much the only differences is the LCD, the LCD size and resolution, and then the different size uh, build plates and vats. So other than that, same features. You same don't features. Have the, the, build, the build plate for that printer. I don't have the large one. No, somebody forgot it. So okay. yeah, somebody forgot it. But yeah, another new thing I love. 
that I've been asking for forever that we finally have, we used to have these, is vat covers. So yeah, I don't recommend leaving resin in the vat for very long, but if you want to, you can. Like personally, I don't, I don't leave resin in my vat for more than 12 hours. If I'm not printing that day or the next day, or even the next day, I will take the resin and put it back into the bottle. Because it still needs to be mixed. It needs to be mixed. That and accidents happen, right? Like the cleaning lady bumps into it, cat jumps on it, someone trips on the power cord. I just saw a uh, post the other day where the table collapsed and the, res the, vat, the vat was full of resin and it went everywhere. So if it's empty, the damage will be way less significant versus having resin in there. So yeah, you have to mix it anyway. So it's a lot easier to do it in the bottle, especially with that, versus doing it by hand. You're not really gonna get it perfect, so. Yeah, and you, yeah. And you don't really wanna use a spatula in here anyway. Because no, no, if you're, yeah, if you're gonna do it, personally, I recommend like a gloved finger, gloved finger or a rubber squeegee. Even a silicone like kitchen spatula, yeah. like cut it. Use has to be soft and flexible. Do not use the hard yellow plastic scraper. It will scratch the film. So. Mm -hmm.